Jody Arias, convicted of killing lover Travis Alexander, 27 stab wounds and a gunshot wound to the head, leaving Travis slumped dead, naked in the shower. Arias on the warpath, behind bars tonight, on a rampage, claiming she lives like a, quote, dog in a cage, and cries that her rights are violated. She is actually claiming that she is embarrassed. Her grocery list, including Zit Cream, Beano Gas Relief, and homemade sex toys made public. Whoa, wait a minute. The woman who slashes her ex's throat from ear to ear after a marathon sex session, she records their phone sex. There are pages and pages of sexting, but tonight she's embarrassed. Her rights have been violated. This, as we learn, a movement afoot to get Arius released. You heard me right. Arius raising $250,000 from all over the world to hire a private investigator. The appeal is on. Could Jody Arius walk free? I kind of felt like, like a prostitute. The first night it was the grinding and the next night was oral sex. It felt a little bit used. So touching yourself. I am already. <laughs> I really, really, really want to scream. You're bad. You make me feel so dirty. But tonight she's embarrassed and claims her rights have been violated. Of course, she tells us she has a cushy time behind bars and even gets special privileges. Listen. We had chicken fajitas here tonight. Oh, wow. They were so good. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Oh, chicken fajita. I haven't had a chicken fajita in so long. Yeah, it was a big old pile of, like, caramelized onions and some bell peppers and, like, all the work. Oh, wow. So, so you finally ate dinner yeah. tonight. Usually you don't go eat dinner. So you finally ate dinner. Yeah. I bet Travis Alexander wishes he could have a sandwich, but he can't because he's on the wrong side of the grass, the bottom side. That was from Radar Online, a recorded conversation of Jody Arias behind bars. Now, let's see why Arias is claiming tonight her rights have been violated. I'm going to get to her trying to raise $250,000 in just a moment. Let's see the grocery list that she's mad about. Um, acne wash, anti-shank toothbrushes. Beano Gas Relief, Clarifying Shampoo, Body Lotion, blah, 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 Tenactin for athletes' feet, and interesting, homemade sex toys. Okay, to Matt Zarell, after she had a marathon sex session with Travis Alexander and then killed him, I would think she'd never want to have sex again. What are the homemade sex toys? Well, we How know do you get that in the commissary, Matt? That's news to me. Yeah, well, we know from the commissary order that Arias purchased 10, 10 anti-shank toothbrushes in three months. And I should note that during that three months, she never once bought toothpaste during that time. And we know that from former inmate Teresa Judice, who we have covered, has claimed that during her own prison stint, she discovered that inmates used toothbrushes as sex toys. And we know that Arias purchased an anti-shank toothbrush literally every week for the last three months. Okay, Matt Zarell, um, I don't know whether I should thank you for that tidbit of information. So Jody Arias, Alexis Torres Chuck, senior reporter, RadarOnline.com, in addition to trying to raise $250,000 for her appeal, is apparently making homemade sex toys behind bars out of toothbrushes. Now, I'm not going to go into that, but 10 toothbrushes and no toothpaste. Interesting. So what's, why is she whining? What's the point? So her grocery list was revealed. She's claiming her rights have been violated. Even though she is locked up behind bars for a life sentence with no possibility of parole, Jody is under the impression that she deserves some sort of privacy. The thing is, this was, I requested this from the prison and they gave it to me. This was not a secret document that I dug up in the grounds of a hidden report. Jody Arias's life is public property now, and she has no rights any longer to be mad about this. So okay. you can see from her list, she's living the high life behind bars. Uh, guys, 
She says she's embarrassed and she is actually thinking of filing a lawsuit for having her rights violated. This is the woman who recorded her murder victim's sex sessions, phone sex, reams of sex text messages. Listen. Last week. So, like, the way you know, dude, it sounds like, sounds like you're just 12 year old girl having her first orgasm. It's so hot. It sounds like, it sounds like what? 12 year old girl having her first orgasm. <laughs> like, corking this hot little, little girl. You're bad. You make me feel so dirty. The stars are brightly shining. I'm gonna tie you to a tree and put it in your Oh no! Like when you're me, you could just see between two. Call me Pollyanna, porn star, and skank. Tonight, a move afoot for Jody Arias to walk free. She is raising $250,000, a quarter million dollars. She's got money pouring in from all over the world. There is even a Jody Arias is Innocent website. Tammy Rose, to you, explain to me why she says that she is being mistreated behind bars and also that she lives like a dog in a cage. Well, according to one of her websites, she's actually receiving quite a few perks. She has this styrofoam chest inside her cell that apparently guards fill with ice. She has a slew of magazines to read. She also has multiple TV stations to watch, including A&E, uh, and also um, quite a few letters and fan mail that's constantly being sent into her. And it amazes me how many people write me to tell me that they're actually contributing to her defense fund. Alexis Therese Chuck, RadarOnline.com. Uh, you didn't tell me about her TV selection. What else does she have? A&E, CNN, I know that. Um, Lifetime, I think she... HLM. Oh, dear. Okay. The, and the Hallmark six, Channel. 60 letters a day, and a lot of them stuffed with cash. Joining me right now, Dorian Bond, a private investigator who is working on the Arius appeal. Dorian Bond, you have an excellent reputation as a private investigator. Why tarnish it with Jody Arias? I mean, she stabbed the guy 27 times and shot him in the head. Well, we get hired by all kinds of clients for defense cases, so uh, it's part of the process for an appeal and part of a process for a criminal defense case. What if you actually get her loose? How would that feel to you, Dorian? Would you feel good about that? I don't think that there's a possibility she's going to get loose. I think really? what she's concentrated on is her rights during her, the trial. Her rights violated during the trial. Did I hear you correctly, Dorian Bond? Her rights. What rights were violated during the trial? Well, she has she has a right to um, a, a defense team, and she wasn't happy with the uh, first chair of the case. So she was very happy with the second chair, and she wanted to replace Kirk many a times, and she wasn't afforded that opportunity. Unleash the lawyers, Raya Greathouse, Atlanta, Seema Iyer, a defense attorney in New York, Seema Iyer. There is no doubt that she killed this guy. They're even arguing a police cover-up, that the evidence of the cell phone was planted. Really? The evidence of the cell phone, where she takes a picture of her own foot at the crime scene and ended up in the washer, they're saying police planted it, Seema. Are Nancy, you going along with that? That is something that needs to be investigated. Grounds for appeal. Do you deny that that's your foot there? Is that what you're saying? No, I just I'm not I'm not denying anything about the photo. I just don't know details of the photo. Well, you do know the timing of it, though, don't you? You know the the yes. amount of time, right? Yes. And you understand that, for example, this thing right here is blood, and blood doesn't happen unless you get cut, right? In addition, she did repeatedly ask for a new lawyer. She deserves so, a right to counsel. Her she had counsel, counsel, not what she chose. And now her rights are being violated even more. You, everybody on this panel keeps neglecting the fact that prisoners have rights. And I'm her not arguing she does. Has that. been exposed exponentially. She's okay, being embarrassed right a great in the house. public, and this could hurt her chances for appeal. Right, great house. You really believe a judge is going along? that her rights have been violated because we got her grocery list? She's raising $250,000 to get out of jail to mount her appeal, Raya. Why does she care about Beano, Zit Cream, and homemade sex toys? I would expect Nancy, nothing less of her. 
Nancy, you, you may not like it, but at the end of the day, she is a human being and she is entitled to her human rights. So is she Travis. She is entitled to her dignity. Okay, Absolutely. isn't it correct, Alexis Terezchuk, she had two rounds at trial. The first jury locked on sentencing. There was another trial. She had a fleet of lawyers. She had experts out the yin-yang. So how were her rights violated? I mean, did you hear her talking about fajita night? I wish when I got off the air I could go home and there'd be chicken fajitas with caramelized onions. That's not going to happen, Alexis. What is the violation? Explain to me. There is no violation with this. What the violation is is actually that Jody has committed behind prison walls. In fact, she is in trouble behind prison. She was caught. She called a guard a nasty name, and the prison had a hearing. She was found guilty, and she was punished behind bars. She hasn't even been there a year, and she lost contact visits for 180 days at least. Well, here's and they'll the review thing, it at the Alexis, end and see if perhaps she has to I would be longer. very concerned, Tammy Rose, investigative reporter, about all of her toothbrushes because it is very common behind bars to make what's called a shank. You can make them out of a spoon. You can make them out of a toothbrush. You can make them out of really anything where you sharpen the end of it and wrap tape around the other end, and boom, you have a lethal weapon. She's got 10 toothbrushes, no toothpaste. What's that about, Tammy? Well, now they're bringing in the dogs to do routine checks uh, in her cell. Those 10 toothbrushes that she ordered in a short period of time uh, without the toothpaste, they think that that she might be using those for other instances other than brushing her teeth. So inmates are telling us that her room is routinely searched. The dogs are being brought in. They are checking on her very mm -hmm. closely. They think she's using those toothbrushes as a shank. Um, this is a woman now claiming her rights violated. She is mounting a defense to get out of jail, raising 250 grand from donors all over the world. She claims she is embarrassed. We found out about her Beano and Zit cream. This is the woman that's embarrassed. Listen. Like when you're me, and you me, but like I'm looking with my head tilted back, so all you can really see is like the outline of my chin and some of my cheek and jawbone. And like my ears and hair, but you can't really see the rest of my face. You could just see it between two, like in focus with the neck and everything sort of a little bit blurry, but they're kind of artistic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's great. 